I am going to be using the e.l.f. eyelid primer and I'm also going to be using, I'm going to put my blush on first. I don't wear that much blush because I, I don't know, I'm just not a blush wearer. But I'll put a little bit on it, of it on. Oops, I just hit that, didn't I? And um, so I'm going to be using the MAC. Barb. So I'm going to use that. But I'm just going to prime my lids and then put the blush on. Using the e.l.f. blush brush. bit of the blush. Do like that. And I also have, if I'm not over the bathroom sink, because I'm sitting at a table right now, then I have a cup of water to the side, and I just tap it off, like, you know, tap off the excess. And I usually start, I usually on, the start on the cheekbone and just put it up. This is my preference. This is the way I like to do it, and you do it the way you like to do it. And then everybody will be happy because they're doing what they want to do. <laughs> The colors I'm going to be using today are from the 88 Tropical Matte Eyeshadow Palette. This is upside down, so I'm here. going to be using that's a blue silver satin, and I'm also going to be using this color here is a light mustard yellow. That one there. This one here is a purple pink satin. And then I'm going to be using the um, Venom Blue. And the, the two brushes that I'm going to be using came out of um, my hip pigment. Hip has um, loose pigment. And this is one of the brushes that came with it. Put it to the side so you can see. And when you do like this, see how it. See? This brush is like that. But if you take the same, this is another brush that came with the hip pigment. But this one is a little... I like to use this one for the crease or for packing on colors. That, the other one, this one here, is mostly what I use for blending and softening out the color. So let's get started. I'm going to use the blue silver satin. I'm going to use this all over my lid or in the, on the inner corner. Well, no, I'm going to put it all over the lid. Got that there. I am now going to take, I think I'll take um, the light mustard yellow. And I'm taking a stiffer brush with that so it'll pack on more color. And I'm just putting this above the crease. I said light mustard yellow, they're not kidding, right? Light mustard yellow. And now I'm going to take the purple satin, the purple pink satin, on a soft, on the softer brush, and put it into the crease and into the outer half of the lid. Blend down into the blue silver satin. And blend it how you want it. Oh, I can look at that. Definitely. What I'm going to do is take that denim blue and put it into the... This is the Essence of Beauty. There. It's the small one. all these blend 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 so I'm going to do some blending and then I'll get back with you. for my highlight I'm going to use a wash of beige and if I go in from here one two three four five this came out as a wash on me so I'm going to use that as my highlight shade it's going to be the elf eyeshadow C brush and it looks like so this. I just put some on the brush tap it off
so and you also use this to get rid of any sharp lines between where your colors blend if you feel you have any like sharp outside edges. colors to come down too much or to come out too much because I think it makes my it pulls my eye down so what I do is I just go ahead and um, you know kind of like whatever highlight shade I'm using as long as it's not too sparkly or shimmery then I just do the edges like this and you know do the inside corner a little bit to line my eyes I'm going to be using Urban Decay Stray Dog and then uh, over that I'm going to put Urban Decay Rockstar and to line my lips I'm going to use Revlon Color Stay and Nude I'm putting the stray dog down first and then over that I'm putting the rock star is that to make sure that you don't poke yourself in the eye which is always a hazard when you're doing makeup A brush. Now I'm using the Studio Techniques and it looks like this. And then I just blend. This is my base liner, the Revlon. I'm going to be using three lip pencils to put over the neutral base. I'm going to be using the Palladio Abergene to line my lips. Darker in the corners. A lip brush, can find one, <laughs> and blend it in to soften the line. See that softens it. Then I'm using the NYX pencil and sand paint to put in the middle. I'm taking the NYX pencil and citrine to put on top of that. The lipstick that I'm going to be using is the MAC. And then over that, I'm going to put Cat Saucy Lip Glass. And I just take a bit of the lipstick. Because I like the liner. And I just put a little bit of the lip gloss. And that's mm -hmm. it. And I just put my mascara and I'm ready okay. to start the day. Remember, you like it, I love it.